I, I, of course, am doing bulk dyeing, but it can all be translated into smaller pieces and smaller pans. I take uh, all my wool I cut in one yard pieces. I soak the wool. I soak it in hot water and I soak it in whatever's handy. Dishwashing liquid, old crappy shampoo you got at the dollar store that you didn't like, um, wetter than wet, Synthropol. It's all good. Just some little soaking agent. It helps to open the pores of the wool so that they can accept the dye. And it expedites the soaking. So I have my wool soaking first thing. And then while it's soaking, I start setting up my dyes and getting my pans out. I boil a kettle of water. Um, when the wool is wet, like an hour? No, 20, maybe less. Mm -hmm. If you move it around a little, it'll soak even quicker. I scrunch the yard of wool in a pan that's a chafing dish liner. You know what those are? They're like lasagna pans that they use in, on buffets. Oh, restaurants. Like yeah, restaurant yeah. supply yeah. thing. She but you could use any, yeah. any pan. Stainless as, or glass? It's stainless. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the wool is scrunched. You all know what that means. It mm -hmm. looks like brains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. good. And, it's wet, but no extra water. It's in there. I mix up three colors of dye in separate cups. Now those might be formulas, they might be straight color, they could be any anything you want. There's no limit, of course, to color. Uh, but this is my way. I use three colors on each piece all the time. Helps me keep track of what I'm doing. So I have my three dyes. I have the wool scrunched in the pan. I pour on one-third Oh, let me just tell you that the selvage is lo along the long side of the pan. Now, you could do yours across the short side, but I do it so that I could always say to you, cut the wool this way, and I know where the selvage yeah. is. So, um, I just try to, one of the things I think is the best hint I can give you is try to be consistent. So, it helps you if the phone rings, you don't you lose your place. If you dye them once this way and once that way, well then, after a while, you don't know where you, which way to cut the wool. I just try to be consistent. So I pour on one color, I pour on the middle color, and I pour on the light color. Um, my goal is uh, usually to try to go from dark to light, which I find when I'm hooking, makes this is going to make the most beautiful leaf. I won't have to worry about shading too much because it's all right there in the wool. So I have my dyes poured on, one-third, one-third, one-third. I grab my potato masher. I mash that wool two times. You might be tempted to mash it four times, and then you'll blend it all together and you'll have nothing. So just two times. How much dye liquid, like physically how much liquid are you throwing? I would say each one has between a cup and two cups, because I don't measure anything. I'm just... So you're throwing... A total of possibly three to six, six cups. Uh, three to there. six cups on there. Um, so if I like what I've got and I say, okay, that's pretty, I Excuse me. take another cup of water and I put in my <coughs> citric acid crystals or my vinegar. I kind of swish that around a little and I pour it over the wool and I mash it one more time. So now it's been mashed a total of three times. You can also mash it with your gloved hand, but you have to not mash it too much because you can just blend it all together and turn it into a neutral sort of nothing. Then this goes in the oven. No additional water, no cover, no foil, no nothing. It goes in the oven. It goes in the oven at my house at 350 degrees because I'm power dying. I'm not leaving the kitchen. I want it to simmer, but I would say if you're leaving the kitchen, please turn it down to 200. Don't uh, roast the wool or anything. Um, when the water is clear, it's done. That might be 20 minutes and it might be an hour. It depends on how much dye is in the, in the, in there, how much wool is in there, how strong the dye is. 
Uh, some dyes are resistant to uptake, like that turquoise. Sometimes it'll take, you know, an hour. You might have to add more vinegar, and uh, I sometimes have to add what I call a sponge. I just lay an extra piece of um, wool on top, and it soaks up some of the dye if I end up with a problem child. Can you re just review the temperature again? Uh, you said you power dye at 300? 350. At 350? Yep. And what keeps that from cooking it? I keep an eye on it. I so check it. There's so plenty of water, so really. It's to simmer. Not steaming, yeah. Steaming, but not, you're not, it's not boiling at 350. <coughs> not usually. 